In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the slope, also known as rate of change, from a table of values. And the table at the right shows the distance that a band is going to march over time. So in this column here, you'll see distance. And then it says the rate, um, oh, I'm sorry, over time, I didn't state that, the distance the band marches over time. So time is this column over here. And normally when you see a table of values, the X is on the left and the Y values are on the right. And if that's not labeled for you ahead of time, you can almost always assume that that's the pattern that your table is going to talk about. And then it says the rate of change from one row of the table to the next is 260 feet per one minute. So you'll see these are going up by 260 feet per one minute. So this is going up one minute. Now our slope formula is the changes in the y's per the changes in the x. And so in this case, if my y is distance, I'm going to track the changing of the distance versus the changing in the time of the table. And um, so what we're going to do is fill in, there's a couple numbers already numbered here, but you'll see the points that they're going to use for this. So if they're using a y value of 520 here, so this 520 here. The x value that has to go with that 520 is the number 2. And that has to go underneath of that point. So that has to be one of the points on your table, um, 2, 520 here. Now what point um, or what y value goes with an x value of 4, 4 comma what? That point is 4 comma uh, 1040, and so this needs to be a point on uh, your slope formula. And so 1,040 goes here. So if we start subtracting on the numerator here, 1,040 minus 520, you're going to see that that difference with your calculator is 520. And the x values went from 4 to 2, 2. And if we were to reduce that, 520 divided by 2, Oops, let me clear that out, clear. 520 divided by 2, you'll see that you get 260. So if we reduce 260 over 1. But that's what we were kind of talking about over here. So if you just want to think of M as the change, that's what that triangle means, the change in Y over the change in X, which we call Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Pick any two points in the table and use your formula and you'll find the change. Or you can just look at how is my Y values changing? It's going up 260 per every one minute. Well, that's your slope. So as long as you're tracking what the changes is in your Y and the changes that you have for your X's, then you can find your slope. 260 over 1 is just 260. So when you um, use non-consecutive rows, you, you really are going to have to use the formula. But if you use two consecutive points that are right together, it may just be a little bit quicker. Um, but the change is 260 feet per one minute. Um, number seven here says, is the rate of change you found in exercise six the same as if you had used two consecutive rows? Well, let's actually try that out. So pick two points in the table that are right next to one another. I'm going to highlight mine to just kind of make it easier. And I'm going to use the first two points. And if I do that, this would be my slope formula. So my second Y is 520. My first Y was 260. So that's y2 minus y1. My second x was 2 minus my first x of 1 is 260 divided by 1, which is 260 feet per minute, which, yes, is the same slope whether you use two points that are connected right together or if you had used, like this example showed, points that were not you know, close together in the table. We use two and four. Um, so again, slope, you can find it um, a couple different ways, whether you had a table or whether you were looking at a graph or whether you were um, just using two random points on your graph. So there's a lot of ways to find slope, um, but the general formula remains the same, change in y over the change in x.